so you'd like to learn a bit more about Baja Design Zone 4. This is the spot zone. As you start driving faster off-road, the use of a dedicated spotlight becomes essential. This zone helps you see further down the road to gauge terrain or obstacles in an effort to give you the most time to react. At Baja Designs, we believe in the three fundamental attributes that make each zone shine. Placement, power, and pattern. Placement being where your lights are mounted, power being how bright relative to your other zones, and pattern being the lens choice that shapes that light correctly. Placement of lights in zones one through three have been kept low on the vehicle to reduce glare, but rocks, bushes, and terrain can sometimes block light if mounted too low. With zone four, where absolute distance is critical, we can move our spotlights further up the vehicle, such as the roofline or A-pillar. If mounting in these locations, consider keeping your spotlights turned off when not in need of distance lighting until necessary. To avoid glare from dust and fog, reduce power consumption, and to avoid eye fatigue caused by trying to focus on a zone that's not an immediate concern. Power of these zone four lights is based directly off your zone three output. If zone four lights are equal to or lower in intensity than zone three, your zones one through three lights may overpower your spot pattern, making it difficult to illuminate and focus your eyes on objects down the road. Our XL, Onyx 6, and LP series lights are a great choice as distance lights due to their larger and deeper reflectors. And finally, pattern, which not surprisingly, we recommend the use of the spot pattern lenses. This lens provides the greatest amount of distance throw, while also keeping a tighter pattern of light that causes less glare if you do choose to mount lights on the roof or A-pillar. In quick summary, these lights can be placed higher up on the vehicle, such as the roof and A-pillar. They should be brighter than Zone 3, using a spot lens for the tightest beam. Consider when you use the lights in the spot zone as necessary, and avoid unnecessary fatigue while driving. We hope this zone overview helps illuminate key facts about our lighting system, and we hope to see you out on the trails.